Hi, welcome to another episode of Money Wisdom. I'm Ralph Dobelli, author of The Art of Thinking Clearly, which explains thinking errors. I'm here to talk about the regression to the mean. Let's start with a story. In the Israeli Air Force, cadets training to become fighter pilots were punished each time they didn't do so well on their drills. Now they did better the next day. The commanding officer concluded that punishment improves performance. Would you agree with that? Nobel Prize winner Danny Kahneman pointed out that they probably just had a bad day and the improvement in performance had nothing to do with punishment or reward. All that was happening was that the cadet's performance was reverting to a mean level of their flying skills. Even when not punished, the cadets were doing better the next day. Here's another example. Suppose your region is experiencing record cold weather or record rain. In all probability, the temperature will rise in the next few days or the rain will stop. The weather will revert to its monthly average. The same goes for extreme heat, drought or air pollution. Weather fluctuates around the mean. The same is true for school grades, stock market performance and subjective happiness. Where do we see the regression to the mean delusion in the financial markets? You've seen ads boasting this fund outperformed all other funds last year or this was the most successful stock of the last 12 months. Reading this, investors have a tendency to buy that fund or that stock. Would I do it? No. The most successful stock picks from the past two years may not be the most successful stocks in the next two years. And the most successful mutual funds of the past three years may not be the winners in the coming three years. The return on these stocks and funds will most likely revert to the mean and other stocks and funds will capture the limelight in the future. So how should we deal with the regression to the mean in our investment decisions? Number one, don't get carried away with headlines about this year's best. Instead, look closely at an investment's underlying value. What exactly drives performance? Is it a coincidence of good fortune or is it the fundamentals? Number two, the stock market as a whole will overshoot and undershoot from time to time and revert back to some sensible mean. Use red, yellow, green scale when making investment decisions in mutual funds. Red means the market is overvalued, green means the market is undervalued, yellow means it's just about right. The PE, that's the price earnings ratio, to determine the color level. It's a very simple but effective indicator to keep you from buying into an overheated market. To sum up, ignoring the regression to the mean can have destructive consequences for our investments. We are drawn to invest in the winner of the year, even though this year's winner might just have been a lucky call. Next year, some other stock or fund will be the winner of the year. The way for you to be the winner of every year is to ignore all that hype. Thank you. Mutual fund investments are subject to market risks. Read all scheme-related documents carefully. To watch more videos about making wiser money decisions, click one of these links here.